Welcome to Burning Bright, a weekly audio cast presenting poetry and prose from Passager. Larnell Custis Butler was born in Norfolk, Virginia. She learned to draw from her high school art teacher. Decades later, she'd sit on a park bench, dip a sharpened stick in India ink, and draw pictures of the people that walked past. She said, I sit still and get very quiet. Then a name will come into my mind, and then that person's story will begin to come through me, and I write it down. Her book, Improvise in the Amen Corner, is a collection of those visual and verbal portraits. Here's one titled, Pie Maker Ellen Emily Matthew. I'll hold the picture up to the microphone so you can see it. Ellen Emily Matthew makes large, sweet, round pies to pay her rent and help her mother buy her medicine for high blood pressure illness. She will make your pie before your eyes with fresh homemade flour dough, fruit from a store-bought can, added with some sugar and other dollar store spices to make the best homemade pie you'll ever taste. Ellen Emily Matthew will tell you kindly to bake your pie in your own oven, cause her electric bill is already high from washing clothes for seven children who bring home tons of playground dirt every afternoon because their television is broken. Pie Maker Ellen Emily Matthew by Larnell Custis Butler from her book Improvise in the Amen Corner. Oh, all right, one more, but that's it. Black Church Mother. Black Church Mother sits on the first pew of a Baptist church wearing a Sunday hat as wide as her double-wide hips, with an extraordinary dress made by her own black hands. Black Church Mother has a no-nonsense approach to reading her God is the Word Bible. Black church mother is definitely black, an agreeable fact. She has not tolerated any other name except black, not a jazzy compound word to hype the meaning of Negro. She has challenged folks who have screwed up her name as well. If a tayo is not a deadly disease. Black church mother by Larnell Custis Butler from her book, Improvise in the Amen Corner. To buy Improvise in the Amen Corner, or learn more about Passager and its commitment to writers over 50, go to PassagerBooks.com. For Kendra, Mary, Christine, and the rest of the staff at Passager, I'm John Shore. This audio cast was made possible in part by a grant from the Maryland State Arts Council.